Hello friends, this video on cell, the unit of life part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will look at the classification of organisms based on the number of cells. Now how many cells are present inside the body of a living organism? Now just now I was telling that we human beings, we are made up of many cells. So how do we know which organisms are made up of how many cells? Now based on the number of cells present in a living organism, organisms are divided into two categories, unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Now I don't think I really need to explain, unicellular is made up of one cell, multicellular is made up of many cells. So these are the two broad categories of organisms. So let us quickly have a look at the unicellular organisms. Let us look at what are unicellular organisms. So one cell constitutes the entire organism. So let us look at some of the, now here in these organisms there is just one cell. So all the life processes, for example the processes which take place inside every, every any living organism, whether it is digestion or excretion or respiration, so everything is taken care by this one cell. So single cell performs the basic functions that are characteristic of the organisms. So how to get food, how to digest the food, how to absorb the food, everything is done by that single cell. So one such example is amoeba. There are many other examples. So to start with amoeba, if you look at amoeba, they are shapeless. They do not have a specific shape. It is a microorganism, very small in size. They are generally found in marine regions where there is water, for example, the decaying bottom vegetation of freshwater lakes or ponds. So that is where you generally see them. So amoeba is one such unicellular organism, but this particular organism which you see that is nothing but one cell. So this cell will manage to do everything. Cell has changing shape. This next example would be Chlamydomonas. This is a green algae. So algae, you generally would have seen this on the surface of water. You often see that there is a green layer which is formed. So that is nothing but algae. So Chlamydomonas is an example of one such algae which is again unicellular made of one cell. So this is how the structure of Chlamydomonas looks like. This is just one cell and inside the cell you have a nucleus, you have a chloroplast, you have the flagella for movement. So these are the different structures inside the cell. The third example would be paramecium. They have cilia for locomotion and they are also a type of protozoa. We, again, we find them generally in freshwater or marine environments. They are often termed as slipper animal cube because of the, their shape which resembles a slipper. Again, the most important unicellular organisms would be bacteria. They, are, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They are considered amongst the first life forms on earth. It is said that all other life forms evolved from bacteria. You find them in a number of places. They are found in water, soil, uh, inside the body of plants or animals. So they are found in a, quite a few places. So that was about unicellular organisms. Let us now talk about multicellular organisms. Now what happens in those organisms when too many cells are present? So many cells constitute the organism. Best example would be human beings. Now, one important characteristic feature of multicellular organism is division of labor. I don't think I need to explain it because I think I have explained it quite a number of times in the previous lessons. But still, just a short recap. Division of labor is that concept where all the cells in the living organism do not perform the same function. A group of cells perform one function, another group of cells perform another function and so on. So it is like the entire task is divided into subtasks and each subtask is assigned to 
a particular group of cells so that is known as division of labor so this concept comes into picture only in case of multicellular organism because that is quite obvious for unicellular there is just one cell so where will you divide the work there is if there is one person in the team that person has to take care of all the work but if there are 10 members in a team you can divide the work amongst them so similar is the case here so some organisms have cells of various kinds. Now examples of multicellular organism is human being. Now in human being only we can see that inside our body we have so many cells. But all cells are not alike. All the cells are not similar. Just think of all these cells. Think of the blood cells. The white blood cells and the red blood cells. Even all of them are not similar. Some are round in shape. Some are biconcave in shape. Some have amoeboid shape, irregular shape. You think of the nerve cell, it has got a very different shape altogether. It is quite long and then it has branches. Think of the bone cell, osteocyte, again it has a different appearance. The smooth muscle fibers, they are long with tapering ends, again that is very different. The fat cell or the adipose cell, so they again have a different appearance. The sperm cell or the egg. So all the cells there, are, I mean, I have not taken example of all the cells present inside the human body, but some of them have been shown in this screen. And you see that they differ from each other in so many ways. So one organism can have cells of many different kinds. Now, all those cells can have different shapes because they are to perform different function. They might have different sizes, again, depending upon their location and their function. So that means in case of a multicellular organism, many cells were present there. Many cells will be present in the organism, but there will be the concept of division of labor. One group of cell will perform one function and another group will take up another function and so on. And also the variety of cells will also be huge. It is not that all the cells has to be similar. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.